Hello, Kim Townsville. Thank you for watching. I'm going to do a little experiment to see which lotion does better on my body. And the only way I can think of to do it is to use the Aveeno on one side of my body for a week and to use the Nivea on one side of my body for a week. So I don't think taking pictures of my skin is really going to show you a lot. So we'll just have to rely on my experience. But uh, when I was younger, I had pretty good skin. I knew it wasn't going to always be that way because I had my fun in the sun. I was in tanning beds and outdoors a lot, but I've always put a lot of lotion on my body. My mom used to say that I spent all of my extra money on lotion, and I thought, okay, is there anything wrong with that? Because I really did like it. But as I've gotten older, I found out that a lot of lotions don't work on my body anymore. I used to could put baby oil in the shower uh, while my skin was still wet and then let it dry a little bit and, and dry off and my skin would be moisturized until you know, the next shower, but that no longer works. It seems like the oil just sits on top of my skin and it, it doesn't work, it doesn't moisturize. So I'm going to try this, the Aveeno on the right side of my body and the Nivea on the left side of my body and see how it works. The Aveeno lotion says that it provides skin relief for 24 hours. It does contain dimethicone. It is fragrance free and dermatologist recommended. The Nivea lotion says it's essentially enriched body lotion. It contains almond oil and it's for dry to very dry skin and it's considered a rich product. I purchased both at Walmart in April 2017. The Aveeno was $9.97 a bottle, it contains 18 ounces. The Nivea was $5.74 and it contains 21 ounces. The Aveeno claims that it moisturizes for 24 hours and it's gentle enough for sensitive skin. It does contain dimethicone, as I said. The Nivea says that it's the rich formula, as I said, that reduces dryness and has natural sea minerals and almond oil. The main ingredients for the Aveeno are water, then glycerin, and it also contains alcohol and some oils later on down, and again it contains dimethicone. The Nivea main ingredient is water, and then the next one is mineral oil, and the sweet almond oil is way on down the list. I pumped three pumps of the Aveeno and three pumps of the Nivea in my hand, and you can see that Three pumps of the Nivea is going to be quite a lot of lotion, but that's the difference in the appearance. The Nivea is very, very white. The Aveeno is a little, um, I guess, yellowish, and you can see that the Aveeno is much thicker than the Nivea. The Nivea is really running down my hand. So that's the difference in the amount you get from a pump and the difference in how liquid the two are. I just put some of that on. You can see the Nivea is a lot shinier. It went on a lot more smoothly. It has a smell sort of like baby lotion and then the Aveeno, it dries quickly. It doesn't really have a smell at all. My right leg is still darker than my left leg from my tanning experiment. The Nivea definitely leaves a glow on the skin, shiny. The Aveeno soaks in pretty quickly. It's going to take the Nivea a little while to dry. I went ahead and put some on the bottom of my feet, and the Nivea is a lot shinier. You can't really see the Aveeno. So after a week of using the Aveeno on the right side of my body and the Nivea on the left, what is my take? Well, I don't like either one of them. When I put them on during the daytime, I have to stand around and wait for them to dry. The Nivea never really does dry. It leaves like a film on my skin and everything I touched, it left a mark on it. I don't care for that. That's gonna be nasty everywhere. It just never dried. The Aveeno had a kind of a creepy feel like I had plastic wrap on my skin. When I put them on before I went to bed at night, I really couldn't stand it. I had to get up and just wipe it off. They're too thick, they're too heavy, and they both sit on my skin. So I don't care for either one of them. I will be looking for a lotion. 
Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. Until next time, bye.